one bites the dust And another one gone And another one gone Another one bites the dust They're gonna hit you too Another one bites the dust Are you guys looking for Santa? Y'all yeah, are! Santa! <laughs> that way! We're trying to unionize. This way! Wait, that way! <laughs> I was looking at other things too. Hi! How are you? I'm doing good! Hi! Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited! I literally, uh, the coin shop that you guys did a video on like two or three years ago was the reason I went to that coin shop. Dude, I saw you.
right over there. That is so cool. Oh, look over there. Oh my gosh, you guys really got to see this place. This place is so awesome. I don't know why did the man from Alaska name his dog Frost? Yes, Frost bites. Oh, gracias. Yeah, but my dad did it so much as a kid, but this is nothing. Whoa, look at that. You came here to show off that arm? <laughs> the babies. <laughs> Let's see, where's, where's the bunnies? Like another day at the office. Disappointing beautiful women. Although this is the first time I've disappointed someone by not being there. Normally they're disappointed by me being there. And then they have to look at me. Yeah. Welcome back, nerdlings. Hopefully you enjoyed that little stroll around the Kansas City Renaissance Festival. Oh man, this one is so much fun. I'm not going to lie though, pretty sure everyone has heard about it now because it's starting to feel like everybody is there. Yeah. Once you get into the park, <laughs> the, the space is really good inside the park. You don't feel crowded in the park. The line for parking, though... Can get a little crazy. Ooh, that was nuts. That can take an hour to two hours sometimes. And the line to the food vendors, that could be crazy, too. Yeah. We uh, ignored the turkey leg this time around and went for a pickle and some jerky, and that was it. <laughs> we were fine until we left to get something to eat later. So keep that in mind, should you ever visit. Maybe a line for that food, maybe a line to get in there. But as you saw, we still had a great time. The weather was wonderful. It was amazing too. weather. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't 
too cold. I honestly feel like it was a Goldilocks day. It, yes. Um, I mean, even the sun wasn't too bad for the most part, but a lot of the fair is under the trees. Which we both yes, love that's, so much. Yes. Love that feeling of this fair and this village yes. being in the woods. And because it's always in the fall, there's a nice light leaf litter on the ground. So it's, it's just, oh, it's just picturesque. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, we're not going to bother you guys too long. We did want to share a couple of our pickups there. Uh, one thing was we got a coin just because we have a treasure chest of coins yes. that we collect from fairs. We love collecting and coins. And this was one we didn't have yet. I think it was like $2 for the coin. Yeah. So it goes to show like super cheap little souvenir piece like mm -hmm. that. It's perfect. Such a great keepsake to take home. Speaking of cheap keepsakes you love your wooden roses yes because i love to get one rose for every fair i go to and because last year when we went uh i missed finding the rose lady so i had to get a rose for last year got a rose for this year we're getting ready to go to dragon fest and they don't have a wooden rose seller there yet hint, yet hopefully hint, hint. so i thought ahead and went ahead and got a rose for that fair so and i think your bouquet has got to the point where you've got one of every color so yeah so now it's just up, yeah get whatever color you know, yeah yeah it's still nice to add to it uh one thing that i had actually offered the lovely lady I told you, I said, hey, if you see something, you talk to me and I might be able to yes. make it happen. I'll, yep. I'll buy you anything. Now, get this, nerdlings. <laughs> there are plushies. There are toys. There are foam weapons, which she loves because she hits and stabs me with them. It's There's a, all kinds to. of elegant, beautiful jewelry. You know, the normal kind, the chainmail kind. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you pick something. You get something. You tell me what catches your eye and what caught her eye. A drinking oh, gourd. My gourd. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, first of all, why did you pick a drinking gourd? Well, first of all, you know, I enjoy a good drink now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bunch of people like, well, first when we walked by the booth, I saw it and I was like, oh, those are really cool looking. They're really pretty. But then the more we walked around the fair, I kept seeing a bunch of people with them hanging off of them. And it just looked like a really cool addition to the costume that's very functional because they do line this with beeswax on the inside. So you can't put anything hot in here, but you can drink anything room temperature or cold in here. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to like mess anything up in the gourd you're not going to be drinking some kind of weird gross you know stuff so it's it's usable and so i just thought it was really cool and so i really wanted one and and you know i'm weird <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair she said it not me to be fair i wanted to look at the entire fair with that offer of buying me anything and I got distracted by the gourd and forgot other things that I wanted to go back for. Because there was one thing I was going to go back for and I forgot, which was the dragon skeleton. Well, it's a good thing that you didn't make that offer to me because I was distracted by Sega Head's new friend. Uh, <laughs> anyway. But I just thought it was really cool. It's got a nice long hanging thing so I can hang it off of me. You know, the cork hangs on it. And you just, you know, drink. Well, the last thing that we got... This was fun. Uh, I believe this is the first time at least we have seen them there. Yeah. So if they've been there before, we apologize for missing you in the past. But it is a pick a pearl. And yes. you love doing these I anyway. love doing those. We did this on uh, the very first time we ever did it was one of our, I think, our second or third anniversary. Um, and then we found one at Silver Dollar City and did it there. Um, it's just a lot of fun because you just, it's just a random muscle. And, you know, you never know what color or size pearl you're going to get. And it's super fun. And we were actually joking about this because it's our 12th anniversary this year. And for the stone, I didn't realize each year had a stone, but the stone for it is a pearl. So it was kind of fortuitous. It's like, well, it's our 12th anniversary. Pick a pearl. How perfect There we that? go. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of a gray one that I saw. Yeah, silver. that's pretty. It's very pretty. I love the silvery ones. Got a bluish undertone to it too, like kind of a. I feel almost it's maybe more of a baby blue. Oh, that's pretty. Like Gray baby blue. Maybe. I like that. One. You have this lovely little cage that you keep your pearls. I do. In. Yeah. Yeah. And so the ones that you've already gathered, and then adding this into there, mm -hmm. it's really nice. Plus, it looks really good because these pearls are all different. They're all different. Yeah, I've got a nice dark, um, like kind of metallic-y looking one, and then I have like a peachy colored one, and then now this like nice light blue one. We got some fun pickups. Yep. It was gorgeous weather. It was a great time there. Even even after the line, 
once we got in there, everything was cool because we were in our element. We even saw some of our some of our friends who actually happened to be visiting there. Some people that yep. have watched the videos before. So thank you guys so much. Love seeing you. Anytime you guys see us at a fair, come up, say hello. We'd love to see you. And we always love hearing that you've watched the videos because that is what these are all about. Trying to encourage you to get yes. out. Have a great time at the fair. Although maybe we've done too many of these because now the fair is over. Well, yeah, stop going to Kansas City. Just to, no, no, no. Absolutely go to the Kansas City Ren Fair because it is so much fun. It's always so great. All the people there are always wonderful. We've we've always had the best of time with the vendors yes, and talking do. to the yeah. cast. The Everyone's so nice there too. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean it's infectious. How could it not be? It's so gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, leave those comments down below. Like comment subscribe notification bell we'll see you at the next renaissance fair don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram go over to t public hit us up on the retro refresh and if we like it nerdlings we nerd it for gourds who knew huzzah huzzah let's go get you some wine of that all right let's go sounds like a gourd idea to me <laughs> ow